I'm Maria uh, Caroline Vatel, and uh, I'm 34 years old, and uh, I'm active in uh, in well weight training and, and bodybuilding, if you prefer to name bodybuilding. Uh, it actually started with uh, fighting sports, so I really wanted to become this uh, sort of like uh, incredible warrior fighter. I don't know, fighting machine, uh, and that uh, idea started at a very young age. But of course, it's you see it as a child as some sort of dream that you have or, or fantasy. And uh, when I was 17 years old, I started with uh, the Thai boxing. So that's basically where it started. And then I wanted to get bigger and stronger, and so that I can fight better. And I just wanted to. Uh, to become this ultimate fighting machine and uh, when I was 19 I started doing fitness in addition to that of course then you go over into the weightlifting mm -hmm. and it, it just felt good so uh, and I like what it does to the body so mm -hmm. I cannot say that I that I had any uh, role models that I look up to Okay, of course I like I, I and I still do. I like still like to see the the medieval movies and uh, and the films where they have the the heroines and and the, all the Amazons and the priestess and the, that kind of. But you know that's. But I don't have have a role model. I, don't, I cannot say that. When I became popular in the media uh, and also with fans and, and, and men who look up to me and, and women also they they gave me the name Amazon and then I was like oh Amazon is somebody who's stronger, bigger, taller, uh, feminine uh, well she's feminine but she can fight she's smart but she you know it's it's a mix of, of how the ideal woman should be to many many people uh, but it's rare because normally you only see that in fiction or in legends and therefore I got this name Amazon and then I was like yeah am I an Amazon yeah basically I am an Amazon I do uh, I do feel that way and I, I as I read the legends and I think back in my childhood and you start seeing all the steps that you took then you can say yes I am an Amazon so and it's what I, it's it's not what you want to be it's it's just who you are, I think, what you've become. Mm -hmm. Muscle training or strengthening the body is very important for women. I'm telling this straight to the camera because I know you're watching. It's very important because you can um, stop aging, the aging process, you can stop it a little bit, you can turn back the clock a little bit. Um, it's uh, it's known that when you do weightlifting as a woman, you reduce the chance of breast cancer by 40 percent. That's a lot. That's almost that's almost 50 percent. That's almost half. Uh, you um, you get less chance of osteoporosis. It's good for for your mental uh, state of mind. It's good for your state of mind. It makes you more uh, powerful. It makes you more aware of who you are and what you can do with your body and I'm not saying that you have to be 100 kilos and only muscles it's just it's overall good the negative comments that I get are most of the time from women this is a very interesting thought because a lot of women think that they have to be skinny and in some sort of way perfect and don't know muscles because it, but I only get positive reactions from men and uh, the negative ones I believe are two or three you know in all those years and they're from women and those are the kind of women that well then I of course I see them on the Facebook and the women are actually overweight and those are the women who say it to me that it's not pretty um, well I mean that's an opinion of, of you know you can have your opinion but I'm not saying anything about anybody who's overweight so therefore I keep it to myself you keep it to yourself but most of the reactions are positive very positive and um, some will say okay she's a little bit too big to, for my taste but yes I can see that she's still pretty so there you go
Mm. You cannot, if, if you see me like, well, you can see me like, like, like this, mm -hmm. you cannot compare me to anything. So therefore, uh, my face, my hair, everything just, yeah, okay, she's, she's just a woman, basically. Well, fit, 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 fit. <laughs> I cannot see, I have a little bit, you know, when I look in the mirror, I still think <laughs> that I'm skinny, <laughs> so, so, uh, but yes, maybe a fit woman or maybe somebody who do, who does uh, sports, mm -hmm. but that's, that's as far as it goes. If you put me in a crowd or next to you, <laughs> then, then you're going to see the difference, yes. Back to back. So here you can see the difference, and it's not only because I'm tall, it's also because I have muscles. So you can compare the bicep, you can step a little bit to this side, and I'll put it in front of you, and you can actually see the difference of arm. Also my head is a little bit bigger than yours. <laughs> We're just going to do an easy lift, so like a baby. Mm -hmm. Just hold yourself. Um, just uh, relax your okay. leg. Just, re <laughs> just relax. Just <laughs> relax. Just like a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the, that's the normal lift. I'm still me. Uh, I weigh uh, 44 kilograms. No, that's... <laughs> that's heavy. <laughs> No. Yeah. It makes you feel like uh, like a child again, or mm, or sort yeah. of gets you. It reminds you of something. Yes, reminds me. Yeah. Childhood. Or I mean, you have a lot of people that really like being lifted mm -hmm. because, and I think it is because they're, it reminds them of being uh, a child or being weightless or whatever it is. I don't know. It's it, mm -hmm. but I think it reminds them of that. Yeah. It could be. Yes, it could be. But nobody could lift you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I try. Um, but <laughs> it is a uh, yeah, it is a little bit different. <laughs> no, I do not want to be a man. Um, I do understand. And of course I understand it because of my partner. I do understand that I have a little bit of, uh, uh, how do you say, strong-minded will. Uh, but I think that has to do with character. It doesn't necessarily has to do with that I train. Some of, the, of course, you, I cannot speak for everybody, but I believe maybe some of the women do like to be a little bit more masculine. Um, I don't. And... Uh, as far as it goes that women have to be curvy, well, yes, they have to have some curves. Um, and if you do weight training, those curves don't just go away. They will stay if you train the right way and uh, if you respect your body as female. Uh, then you will train in that way and you present yourself as a female. Also, in the bodybuilding on stage, I think you should present yourself as a female, which means uh, if I walk, I will walk like a ballerina. I'm, I'm not going to walk like a man because I'm not. If I move, I will move gracefully. Those are the, the things you can... That's what separates us from the men. We have the muscle, but we can still move and be elegant. Mm -hmm. But what, what happens if men move elegantly? elegantly? <laughs> uh, well, it still looks. If the move, if the men in the bodybuilding they move elegantly, it's very pretty. It's very pretty to see because then it becomes an art form. If they do it very well, then they've sculpted the body. If they've done it in a good way, it looks pretty. And if they have the movements to go with it, it, it can be really become a work of art. I think it's important for women to know, first know, but also understand what they are capable of. 
not necessarily due to, you know, being with muscles or without. It, it has to be, women in power has to do with, uh, with how a woman presents herself in life and the statements that she can make with or without muscle. Um, but you don't necessarily have to be, be, be physically strong. You gotta be mentally strong. It's it's the combination. It's, it's for me, combination. it's the combination. Mm. For me, also, it's combination. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, mentally strong is really important, and knowing what you can do as a woman, and knowing that uh, uh, who you are in society, what you can, the the what you can reach, because I mean, you can do anything if you put your mind to it, and that goes for men and for women, but. To women, maybe they 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 still think sometimes, oh, you know, I'm 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 dumb, or I cannot do this, or maybe I'm not physically strong enough, or maybe I'm not mentally strong enough to do this. Because women have also they're more in touch with emotions, and they get led by emotions, and sometimes they need to uh, well, they really need to look inside themselves and and say like, hey. This is an emotional field I'm in right now, and I need to make sure that I have my mental capacity and think with the mental part of my brain instead of the emotional part of my brain. And that's what divides also men from women, and therefore men can be harder in business and in life. And we women, sometimes we have to separate the emotion from the mental, and if we only think mental a little bit more, then we can get just as far as men. But don't get yourself led by emotions. I write down something which I feel or think can be encouraging to everyone that reads it. And it doesn't even matter if you're training or whatever you're doing. It's a little hidden message. I do it with, you know, it's, uh, it's little hidden messages that I put in there. Mm -hmm. Of course, I work as, as a model too. Oh, as a, uh, as like a photo model? A photo model, uh, in, uh, also in videos, you know. Uh, they invited me over to uh, for a Hollywood movie too. <laughs> uh, so I've done some things um, and it does. I know when I have a picture that it looks charismatic. Um, and if I put that on a platform like Facebook and women see that, they go like, oh wow, I, maybe they think like, I wish I could be a model, I wish I could be, you know, it's not that they want to be like me, it's like I wish, it's like the movie star, oh, I wish I could be that movie star, you know. So if I put myself out there and women see that and they go like, oh yeah, she always looks so pretty on pictures, I wish I could look so pretty on pictures. That's the thing, and then I think, and then I have them, because if they want to have that little piece of being sort of like you, but just a little bit like you, and then they read the message, um, then they might think like, hey, look at what she's saying. Yeah, she's saying something about life and that you have to go on and blah, blah, blah. And well, if that's her personality, then maybe I can do it too. So I use pictures and videos which, inspire. which to inspire the women mm -hmm. and if I put a text in there, I'm very good at, um, I do open myself up in those texts. So if I write a text, it's most, it's 100% me. So it's what in, it, what's inside of me, inside my heart, inside of how I think. And it's real. And if something is real, people will know because they will read it and they will know that, that it's real, it's you. And that works, I just mentioned the mental and emotional side, that works on the emotional side of women. Mm -hmm. And if I can get into the emotional side of women with a message, they are, um, well they, then you can easily work with those women, they will, they will start following you. I throw myself out there, I get, you know, sometimes I get kicked, I get, uh, sometimes I, I have some bad experience by that, mm -hmm. but, I mean, somebody has to do it.
they made a television documentary about what female bodybuilding is about or what what my life was about what my work is about and um, they threw it completely uh, on another subject so they filmed me and they just turned it and twisted it that way that uh, yeah that it didn't look so good so it is sad but I threw myself out there and I got kicked in what way they turned it to them? Uh, they turned it around into that I am very much into the sexual and the fetish scene. And uh, that's bad because the, the modeling I do, of course, I wear small dresses, but I'm not, you know. Of course, it, it's you have admirers, but I cannot say it's, it's a sexual act. It's No, it's not. And they made it that way. Every woman who starts for a bikini or a fitness competition or, or bodybuilding, they go through a lot, a lot of struggles with themselves. And in the end, you actually, most of the time you will find yourself being stronger than ever because you know you can overcome this. You know, training, being in pain all the time with your body, having hunger, having, and, and saying to yourself, no, I have to keep going, I have to keep... And I think, uh, and you will become stronger in the end. They look in the mirror and they see something they don't want to see. Therefore, they want to do fitness or they want to do bodybuilding or, you know, let's say fitness because that's pretty and, you know. Um, but it also, in the end, it helps you to look at yourself in the mirror in a different way. Because you will know what you're capable of, you will know what your body is capable of. And yes, everybody can have uh, a six-pack. You know, everybody can be skinny. You can do it, really you can. So, if you can overcome that, then you can do anything in your life.